gonna miss your favorite nurse, Nurse Ratchet. Lady Shaka cooking over here in this little house in Detroit. Can you take a moment and subscribe? You might like or you might not to my channel. I got a whole lot of these videos, but I'm gonna put them out if you like me. We're making butter beans, aka lima beans. I got big ones and little ones. We're gonna go ahead and put them all in this Insta pot. Are you ready? Let's get cooking. Got my Instapot right here. I just want to introduce it. What I do is when I store it, if I spray it with olive oil, it's still a Dutch oven. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the searing function. Don't know why I touched that little button right there. Here are my lima beans. I soak them just for a little while. I'm going to put turkey tails in there too. And that's how I cut my green beans. All right. Got some butter. That's what make them butter beans. Let's open it up. Woo! Don't that look good? Now, here we go. I got a oh, water with two bouillon cubes that's about all the salt i'm gonna put in there and i have boiled in the microwave so it got down throw that in there with that butter see when you put in that searing function it's kind of like you bring it to a bowl so i'm gonna put it in there like that open this garlic for me gonna put my garlic in then i'm gonna go ahead and put these turkey tails in i like to set them down i had quite a few of these are smoked turkey tails get them from wherever you get them from you get any part of turkey you want to some people like to use pork Gonna put those beans in there after I rinsed them and cleaned them and my hands were clean. I'ma season it to taste. I like different seasons, Italian seasoning, garlic seasoning, parsley seasoning, Mrs. Dash, you know, a little rotisserie seasoning, whatever you want, some poultry seasoning. Put it all in there. I'ma lay my um, green peppers and onions and I chop them that way so that when it's on a slow cooker function, they don't fall apart. Don't forget the sazon, that sazon make it good, y'all. Hey, and I'm going to throw a little bit of this in here. That's just some garlic and, you know, um, more garlic season. And I do. I use a little ginger. Just want to let y'all know that. It tastes really good. So what I did was I brought it to a boil. Once I got it to a boil, man, you should be in here. This house smells so good. Yep, I threw another stick of butter in because, like I said, I want some butter beans, baby. Butter beans, you understand? So butter to your liking. But if you like it like I like it, go ahead. And before I put it on slow cooker function, I'm going to put water in it to the fill line. Just like you'll do a slow cooker. But let me tell you this here. I went ahead and slow cooked it real good on that 400. And I checked on it in 44 minutes. See, I kept it. Actually, what I did, I'm sorry, pardon me. I let it go for on that searing function for 44 minutes. I don't bring it to a boil. I want it in there all day. See, once I did that, I stirred it up real good. Now, you know the secret to spraying your pot when you store it and what they call it, uh, seasoning it, nothing stick. Now, I'm ready to slow cook. So, this is how I look after it's been slow cooking for about an hour and a half. And I stirred my beans up a little bit. Sorry, I didn't show you that. And I went ahead and let it go. I keep showing you them beans. They look so good. It's done now. All right, y'all. Now, I'm going to tell you the truth. That's after six hours, okay? I did four hours. I checked on it. Then I went ahead and added two more hours, and they're good. They gone. Like me, bye. 